years old. Her parents made love in front of her all the time. <laughs> yeah. Once her mother had a miscarriage and Ruthie blames it on the sex. Her father buried the fetus by the back porch steps. Can you believe that? Hey, Vanessa, I really like your painting. Thank you, Marsha. Yours is lovely, too. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get this straight. This is yours, Marsha? This is mine, Doc. Oh, okay, so this is yours, Marsha, and this is yours, Vanessa. Quite right. Can one of you tell me more about Ruthie? Oh, her mother treated her badly. Treated her badly? <laughs> she hurt other little girls, too, when she babysat. She saved the worst for her own. What did she do? She raped her with a button hook. Marsha, there's a concert tonight I'd love to attend. Would you care to come? Get out of here if Richard's taking you. You know I don't like him. Vanessa, where were you when Ruthie's mother did this to her? I was there. I watched. We all did. But you didn't feel anything. Why should we? We're all different people, Doc. I'm Marsha. And I'm Vanessa. And I'm Mary. And I'm Peggy. Ada Sweet. <laughs> Vicky. But we are not the same person, and none of us is severe. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. It is not dissociative fugue nor amnesia. It's more pervasive than that. Every personality has its own pattern of memories and series of conflicts and relationships to everyone else and yet none of them have the dimensions of separate individuals it's almost as if she's play acting what if i'm wrong what if she's lying to me well, she's good at that lord knows she should be she has spent her life doing it i've never felt so at odds with my own training I know we are not supposed to get involved, and yet, if she needs a, a mother or a friend, and I can't do that for her, then what am I supposed to do? What if she ends up in a mental ward because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. you oh Sybil what happened I don't know I woke up in an ambulance when they tried to give me an injection I gave them your name and they want to put me in a psychiatric ward for observation you won't let them will you no 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 of course not come on I'm gonna get you out of here this is it not much but please don't mind the mess would you like some coffee or tea Yes, uh, coffee, please, black. Oh, this is very, very lovely, Sybil. Thank you. Oh, I thought you didn't play. I don't. there might have been anything in the music tonight that would have troubled you? I don't remember. Maybe your father could tell us something. Oh, <laughs> he'd never come to New York. He calls it Sodom, the city of sin. <laughs> Sodom. He never set foot in this place. He hates that I live here. He wants me to move back home. Well, maybe we could go see him. To Willow Corners? Yeah. 
Really? You'd do that for me? Well, if you think he might see me. Oh, he'd love to meet you. I've told him all about you. He's a warm, charming, wonderful man. Good to see you. Nice to see you too, dear. This is Dr. Wilbur. Mr. Dorset, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Ah, Miss Wilbur. Dr. Wilbur. <laughs> well, let's go inside. You go to church, Dr. Wilbur. Oh, uh, no, uh, not often. Uh, start our lives here. My father was very active in preparing for the world's end. The Lord shall devastate the earth, and it shall be made desolate. Feeling to him was a sin. I suppose you disagree. Feeling is as inescapable as breathing, Mr. Dorset. We all know what happens when you hold your breath. Sybil wrote you had questions about Hattie. She was a wonderful woman. Sybil said she was nervous. Aren't we all at times? Well, we had financial difficulties. It was hard on her. Everybody has his or her little quirks. What do you mean, quirks? Well, Hattie was a proud woman. She held her head high. And when the Depression hit and we lost our money, she took it very hard. In what way? She took to her bed and stopped speaking. I had to dress, feed her. I brought her to the Mayo Clinic, and a man there said she was, uh, what's the word, uh, schizomatic. Schizophrenic. Would yeah. you like some milk with your tea, Dr. No, Dr. Wilbur? Was she treated for this? <sighs> we couldn't afford treatment. So, we prayed. And one day, she started speaking again. She was cured. It was nothing. Nothing. Daddy's right. She was perfectly fine. Mr. Dorset, um, do you suppose that we could speak alone maybe sometime later this afternoon? Uh, I, have I a few... see the point of all this. Other than that one time, Hattie was a perfectly healthy woman. Sybil was lucky to have her for a mother. Schizophrenia is not cured by prayer, Sybil. At least not that I've ever heard of. She couldn't help herself. You mustn't blame Isn't her. Isn't there anything you remember about her that coming back